found in the open air and is rich in carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. Additionally, complete darkness has enveloped the cave for millions of years, devoid of any sunlight. The extreme conditions of the cave have attracted the attention of biologists who have explored this fascinating ecosystem. In a study conducted in 1996 by a team of biologists from the University of Cincinnati, 48 species were identified, with 33 of them being unique to the mobile cave. The inhabitants of the cave include various species of spiders, pseudoscorpions, woodlice, centipedes, leeches, snails, and more. The cave-dwelling organisms have adapted to their dark environment. Most lack vision and pigmentation, as these traits are unnecessary in the absence of light. They possess elongated limbs and antennae, enabling them to navigate effectively in the darkness. What makes the mobile cave even more remarkable is that it represents the first land-based ecosystem known to rely on chemosynthetic bacteria. While most ecosystems on Earth depend on photosynthesis to derive energy from sunlight, the bacteria within the cave obtain energy and carbon through chemical reactions such as the oxidation of sulfide or ammonium. In some